I have recently been reading a book by a Presbyterian clergyman about prayer and the various things that we can talk to God about. Uh, one of the illustrations he uses in there was intriguing to me. I read how one of the requirements for being a crusader was to be baptized. And uh, it is alleged that some of these warriors would be baptized with their sword hand out of the water. They didn't want to baptize this hand that would kill their enemy. Everything else had been consecrated and set apart for God, but their hand was their own to do with as they pleased. Now, this is probably a legend, and it sounds pretty foolish to us, but it is really an excellent illustration of how many Christians uh, kind of treasure certain parts of their lives. You know, we may all ask, you know, what did not go under the water when I was baptized? You know, was my wallet completely dry when I came up? <laughs> did our tongue get completely immersed? Was our pride held high above the water? And what about our will? In Mark 10, 38, we read uh, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says, yeah, you don't know what you're asking, guys. Guys is uh, insertion by me. Uh, can you drink this cup that I drink or be baptized with a baptism that I am baptized with? Now, the baptism that Jesus is talking about, of course, is his suffering, his crucifixion, his burial, his death and resurrection. It was total. It was complete. He didn't leave anything, so to speak, out of the water. He suffered and died for our sins completely. He died totally. He did not faint. He did not play possum. He was not comatose. He was completely immersed in death. And I thank God for this. Amen. We remember all that Jesus has done for us, all that he went through, his total commitment each Sunday here as we partake in communion. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23, we read, we read, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, not just our body, but all of us, we give to you our heart, our will, our mind. Use it to bring glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.